the lungs work and how the movement of the diaphragm helps the air go in and out of the lungs? Let's find out! So for today, we'll be doing a lung model. Let's get started! So here are the materials. 2 liters empty plastic bottle, 3 balloons, 1 big and 2 small, sturdy straws, a pair of scissors, cutter, rubber bands, and tape. Cut the bottom of your plastic bottles. Ta-da! Create a hole in your bottle cap. Yay! Use the straws to be your wind pipe. Prepare your small balloons to be your lungs. Attach your lungs to your wind pipe. Put your lungs into your bottle. Use a big balloon to act like your diaphragm. Chada! Here's our finished product. Chest cavity, bronchi, lungs, and the diaphragm. The air pressure inside the bottle is lowered by increasing the space inside the bottle. The outside air then enters through the tube, which makes the two balloons inside the bottle chest expand. The air pressure inside the bottle is increased by decreasing the space inside the bottle. The inside air then exits through the tube, which makes the two balloons inside the bottle return to their original size. The movement of the diaphragm affects the air pressure inside the chest cavity by either decreasing or increasing the space, thus allowing air to go in and out of the lungs. Thanks for watching!